In this video, I want to show you how to scan on your brother MFC J4335DW. I'll show you how to connect your printer to a Wi-Fi network, how to connect your phone to the printer and how to scan using Wi-Fi so the results goes directly on your phone. This can also be done with a computer if you prefer. So let's get started right away. This printer, by the way, has two scanners and yeah, I will show you how to use both of these. So let's go right over here on the control panel. So you're gonna press the down arrow. It says Wi-Fi over here, so we'll go directly in the Wi-Fi settings. Select Find Wi-Fi Network. It should be one of the first options. Press OK. Then select the right side arrow and wait. It will find all the Wi-Fi networks that are currently around the printer. Next step is to use the up and down arrow so you can search for your Wi-Fi network. Once it's highlighted in blue, press the OK button. Now it's time to type the password. You can also use the number pad on the right side in case your password has numbers. If not, well, you'll have to use the arrows and the OK button to type it. Press OK once you are ready. You're going to get WLAN connection successful. Then you're going to go on the App Store on your iPhone or iPad, it works both ways, and download the Brother Mobile Connect app. Open. Next. You can select Skip. Select OK. So to scan, you need to open the scan lid over here. I'll also show you, by the way, how to scan using the top document feeder right after this. So if you opened the document, uh, sorry, to have access to the scan over here, you need to put the paper facing down with the top part towards the left side, just like that. Then you're going to notice there is an arrow on this corner. You simply need to glide until the corner of the paper touches the corner with an arrow. Close the lid. On the app itself, you're going to select Scan. Make sure these settings are the one that you want. For example, if you're simply scanning a text document and resolution is not important, okay, there, there's not that many details, you can select 200 dpi. Instead, the scan will happen quicker. And press Scan. Usually in around 12 seconds, you should get the result on your screen. So let's wait a bit more. Here we go. We got our page over here. If you scan multiple pages using the top document feeder that I'll show you again in just a few seconds how to use it, you're all going to have them on your screen right now. This is not saved. What you need to do is to press done. And from here, you will be able to zoom in just to make sure that you're happy with the result. And then you're going to click share slash save. You'll be able to share it with your favorite contacts. You're going to be able to share it on different social media apps. And if you go down this list, you'll be able to print the results. I mean, whatever you just scanned or to save it to your iPhone. And to do that, you simply need to click on save to file. Select the folder where you want this scan to go and then press save. If you want to scan multiple pages, here I have three of them. You're going to put them together, align them and use the top document feeder. First thing, open this small, I don't know how you call it, small plastic piece. This will just forbid the pages to fall on your desk. Place your pages facing down with the top part towards the right side. Glide them under these two plastic guides. You may hear a small beep once you reach the end. Simply, it's just the printer telling you that it has noticed you have input paper over there. And now take your phone, select scan. The printer will automatically determine where you have placed the paper. You don't have to select anything over here. Some other printers you have to select manually. Over here, it's automatic. And press scan. All right, take a look. It will take each pages, starting with the one on the bottom, scan it, and it will come on the top. Don't touch anything. Oh, 
Okay, so on my phone over here, I have the three pages that got scanned. They're all perfectly aligned. And the same way, you're gonna click on Done, and then select Share Saved and save the file or share it, whatever you want. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, take a moment, leave a like, comment down below. Check my Amazon links if you want to get some ink, some paper or any other things for your broader printer. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day.